Hello everyone, you all probably must have used this great device called camera. You capture photos and record videos through it and then share them with the entire world. It has become just so simple. But did you know how a computer handles these photos and videos? After all, it only understands the language of electricity. Let's see how. It is a rigid fact that a computer doesn't understand what a color is but it does understand binary which is nothing but a number system. So to make computer be able to process colors, we need to represent them as numbers. This is where color models come into play. There are many color models being used to fulfill some sort of processing need and each one just does the same job, converts a color to a number. Let's first see the most used and most known color model, the RGB model. Here we break the color to be represented into three channels. Of course they are red, green and blue. And depending on how much of each is required to build a specific color, we assign a number to each channel. Depending on color depth, each channel can use up number of bits. 8-bit and 10-bit channels are most commonly used, but 16-bit channels are also not so rare. It's simply a matter of how much memory you're willing to spend to gain more precision. Also, RGB is the most intuitive model where artists can easily create color moods by controlling directly the color amount and not some mathematical quantity. Then, why other color models were created? Despite being intuitive for humans, computer and math don't exactly love the idea. Many operations are overly complex to perform on RGB color as each pixel has not one but levels of three different colors. It would have been much easier if each color was represented directly as it is instead of being addition of three different components, red, green and blue. The next two models do exactly that. HSV model also has three different channels, hue, saturation and value. Hue represents the actual essence of the color, like whether the color has a red tint or a pink tint or a purple tint or whatever. All colors are arranged on a circle and hue is the angle representing which tint to be used to generate the color. Saturation represents how much of the tint is actually present in the color. Think of it as adding food coloring in milk. The more you add, more colored it becomes, and if you don't add anything, it stays white. Value represents darkness of the color. Color becomes black for value of zero and is equal to result of hue and saturation for max value. Because of this, it becomes easy to mix and manipulate different colors or apply different filters to the image. HSL model is same as HSV model except the value channel is replaced by lightness channel. The hue and saturation channel remain the same, but lightness indicates the level of light being cast on the color. Thus it becomes white when lightness is set to max value and black when set to zero. Finally, we can represent color as binary value and now the computer loves to process them. So if you love this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when new video comes out. And as always, thank you for watching.